What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, hitting you with a little bit of pre-Thanksgiving. Kids are home. It's getting crazy uh, before Thanksgiving video. And just first and foremost, thank you, everybody, uh, all the subscribers, all the people out in California that just took a random stranger around to pet stores and to places in Cali and out to eat and all that. It was a fabulous freaking time. So had a blast. Still recovering, still tired, but uh, a good freaking time. So I want to show you what's going on. The koi are actually out for a change, and I want to show this plant that's still bumping. You guys can see the koi. It got a little bit warmer today, and I'm adding water. Used a ton of D-Chlor. The fish are out. They're obviously enjoying the water change. Do water changes on your pond, folks. Uh, I'm being cognizant of the temperature or whatever, but check this out. Look over here, you can see the umbrella palm. If you look close at that, so I'm holding it like this, you can see new growth popping up through there. That obviously got hit with the frost. I was expecting it to die, and it probably still will, but the fact that it's got new growth underneath there is pretty awesome. I didn't know how hardy these plants were, and we obviously got nicked. Check out the koi action down there. Loving them, and they're not doing much. They're just kind of kicking it, not doing a whole lot, coming out when the sun's out or whatever, but yeah, loving the koi, loving seeing them, because like sometimes they disappear, and I'm like, oh my god, where my boys go? Anybody who saw that Facebook Live when I saw them after I thought they got eaten, uh, it was totally hilarious that only the Deutsch Nazi Ogon got eaten. But anyway, I want to show you what's going on. Um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Coincidentally, the Thanksgiving, the pilgrims and Indians, you know the history major's about to pop out on you, um, celebrated it. What the Indians teach the white man to do when they got over here after that first winter when they almost got wiped out? They taught them how to grow corn, and how did they teach them how to grow corn? What did they do? They taught them how to put stuff, some nutrients, some dead fish down in the seeds of their corn. Coincidentally, I have a little substrate action to show you all, and I ain't proud of it, but it is what it is. Um, anaerobic conditions, I talked about the dirty tank, I haven't talked about it in a while, but um, when you have anaerobic conditions in your substrate, bad stuff happens, so it's like the dirty tank gone wrong. When you've got too much uh, sand, which is why I don't recommend using play sand, I do recommend pool filter sand. The ideal substrate size, in my humble opinion, is the BB gun size BB or whatever. That would be like the perfect size. If you said, Dustin, what kind of gravel would you get? i get that size. However, got some anaerobic conditions going on over here in the um, Krenum, one of these Krenum Tyonum repair tanks right here. See how this browns out? Whenever you see that, bad, no, no, like things are not good. So too deep here, not enough substrate stirring. You can see it kind of rotting here. So that's not good at all. So we see that, notice not going on there. So you gotta figure out what the deal is. For me, it's the silica sand is too compacting here. I wanna use a larger grade gravel uh, in this setup for it. Now look, I'll just float these plants, the roots will grow out, add some fertilizer, like they're in the sun, they'll be all right. But I uh, wanted to show that, yeah, so you have the anaerobic conditions, that's something you gotta look out for with your dirty tanks. More dirt is not good, okay? Too much dirt is not a good thing. You wanna use less, if anything, so if you have like one inch, cut it down to like three quarters of an inch or whatever, and then use larger grade gravel if you're nervous. This is an example of when you used uh, too narrow a stuff or too, excuse me, too fine of stuff, what can happen? There's not enough gas exchange going on here and you can see those dark pockets. Anyway, so that's what's up. Referencing it back to thanks freaking giving for you all. Get excited, Black Friday's coming up. Doing the largest sale I do of the year. One day only, gonna have a good old time with that. So I'm out here doing a little inventory prep. Got some little tissue culture plant action back from Cali. So yeah, I don't know, you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Everybody have a fabulous freaking time with your family. Hug on your mom and dad and all your relatives and all that stuff. And I'll hot you soon. Tank on it, buddy. Later.